Hey everybody, in this video, we will explore Meta AI's latest open source model called Llama 3.1, and we will integrate that with Ada to build a fully local full stack application using Olama. All right, so this will be completely local, and we will provide an overview of the Llama 3.1 model and Ada, and we will demonstrate that by building or generating a powerful full stack application without writing um, code. So we will use the Visual Studio code platform to do that. All right, so Meta Llama 3.1 comes in three sizes. So we have the, seven, the 405 billion parameter, the 70 billion parameter and 8 billion parameter. So the 405 billion parameter model is on par with other closed source model. So I'm gonna show you that briefly. So it makes it ideal for building robust applications. All right, so we also have the 70 billion, which has a highly performant and cost-effective model, and it enables diverse use cases. So we can use that in different use cases. So we also have the lightweight 8 billion parameter, which is ultra-fast model, and you can write run it anywhere. Right, so here are some key capabilities of the model. So it can do a lot of your analysis and you, so you can just uh, try it out here. So you can upload data set, you can analyze your data, heap data set using the model. And so you can also, it has the multilingual agent capability, right? So it has the ability to translate into other languages. As you can see here, you can test that out, you can Check that out. You tried the 405 billion on the Meta AI. So you can check that out and try it. And it also has complex reasoning capabilities. And it also has the coding assistance capability. So you can use that into building a lot of um, application and a lot of use cases. So it can actually be your coding assistant. You can build robust application using that. All right. So one interesting part is the model evaluation part so as you can clearly see here comparing the benchmarks of the other model gemma 2 the gpt 3.5 gpt 4 so you can clearly see comparing that to the benchmarks here the human eval the mmlu the uh, the math so you can see right here that lama 3.1 when you compare the 405 billion to gpt 4 it really comes close in part and beats some of the benchmarks as compared to a GPT-4, as you can clearly see here. All right, that, this makes it a lot, a lot of, um, it has a lot of use cases. And even the Lama 3.1 here, the 8 billion, you can see it has more capability as compared to the GPT-3.5 table. So you can see right here, right? You can compare that to the Himal eval, the code evaluation, you can see the differences right here, All right? So we are going to try it out with Ada, All right? So you can read more about the documentation here. I'm gonna attach that to the link on description below. All right, so here is, we look at Ada. And Ada allows you to pair your programs using the LLMs. And so you can, with this application, you can write code, edit code, and build applications through this ADA. So we are going to combine this with Lama 3.1 and build uh, a full stack application, right? So that's gonna be our use case, All right? So with that, we are gonna get started and here are some of the features. I've already done ADA video in the past, so you can look for that in my uh, videos. All right, so you can run files, edit files. You can debug your code refactor your code, you can update your document, you can also add images to your chat and you add URLs to chat, you can code with your voice, that is interesting, right? So you can find more use cases and you can, you know, has implement a lot of these um, features in your applications. All right, so let's get into the application part to build the 
to build the application. All right, so we need to install Olama. So if you first want to install Olama, you first go to Olama. Let me try this. Olama, I'm going to say AI. Okay, so Olama.com. So when you are there, you can go to downloads. It's pretty simple and easy based on your system. I have Windows, so you can download Windows pretty straightforward. And you just follow the instruction to install. It only takes some few minutes. And when you have that installed, you are going to see right here, there's this icon here. Llama icon showing up it means it's ready. And so let's look out for the model 3.1. So it comes in three sizes. So we have the latest, the 405B. Of course, you should have a, um, a big story to do this. So we're going to run the latest. That's going to be 8 billion and see how it works with ADA. All right. So let's get into my BS code. All right. So in my BS code, I've already created an environment. All right. So let's start here. If you want to create an environment, you can go to say Python, run this. Python, already have that here. All right, say Python dash M V E M V E M V. We want to create that environment. Just make sure everything is just in one place. So we want to activate that when you activate E M V slash script script slash activate to activate that. All right, once you have that activated, the next thing is, so we are using Olama. So this here is the instruction, All right? So before you do that, you will need to pull Olama, All right? So you will need to do pull the model. So I'm going to run it here. Okay, so you can do, so I'm going to do Olama run. I'm going to write the name of this model, B. So I'm going to say hit. All right, so I have that already running. So when that is set, what I'm going to do now is let's go back here. And we want to, so I can run Olama self. And so in order to, you can run anything that you want to run. I'm going to say hi, just to make sure it's running. So I'm going to say hi. All right, so let's open a new terminal. And I'm going to open a new terminal here. And I'm going to, All right, so now I'm going to run, so I'm going to install pip install ADA chat. So I'm going to paste it here, pip install ADA chat, I'm going to run it. Let's give it some time, have that ready run. So the next thing is, so we want to export Olama API base. So we are using this URL as Olama. So we are going to copy this. So for Mac and Linux, so I'm on Windows, so I'm going to copy this command. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so I'm going to say run. All right, so as you can see, success is shown here. So specified value was saved. So the value is saved. So now let's run the last command. So we're going to say ADA model Olama. So I'm going to copy the first command and copy the first command, paste it here. All right, so now Lama pre point one eight B. So I'm going to say enter. Right. Don't need it. I'm going to say no. Right. So as you can see, it's ready. So 
let's start doing some magic. All right, so I'm going to ask it to create a simple user interface for an AI website with the name Data Edge. We say make sure to include services such as automation, automation, consultation, chat, chatbot, and pricing plan. All right. Gonna say all right, so let's start with this and see how it goes. Let's give you some time. We have our index file, the HTML, the style of CSS. We have that created and it's written it to five. You can see you can see the code. Pull this down beautifully here and you can see the style beautifully here so we want to run this so let's see the output so let me create a new terminal All right so we're going to run it by saying python and http oops. Server, if you run it here, All right? So it's running on this port, All right? So let me go and check that out, All right? So let me type this, it's running on this port, and you can see the UI is created for us. Right, so we wanted to for it to create uh, this for us the home information. It should have the services automation. It should have consultation chatbot. So this so it's created a basic UI for us for the website. And as you can see, it has the pricing plan, the basic, the premium plan, and it has the prices here. So it did exactly what we wanted to do. So you can go ahead and edit it to make it more nicer you can add a lot of information for the in the prompt so that it can create your uis for your website right on the go just a click right so you can try it out and let me know how you think about this this tool right so this was just eight billion parameter it was able to create this beautiful ui right so you can try out with the other models the 70 billion parameter and the 405 billion parameter if you have no if you have enough storage right okay so i hope you like this video let me know in the comment section how you feel about this right so do check that out and see you don't forget to share and subscribe see you in the next one